Welcome back, Biscuits. It's one of my favorite subjects today. Oh yeah, homeware haul. So I went to Home Goods and I thought, you know what? There are a few things for around the house that I want to get that are decoration, and there are some that are practical that I wanted to grab. Um, and then I found some great clearance deals. I love going to discount homeware stores and then going to the clearance section and finding things for like a dollar or five dollars. And I just feel like I get my saving stickers in my In Theory saving booklet and it just adds up to me feeling happy. Um, in no way is it sponsored by Home Goods or any of the products I bought. I just went out there and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna buy some goodies for the house because I feel like it was kind of bare and it needed a little bit of things around the house to make it a little bit warmer and more homey. And also I just needed some practical things. So I got this really practical, lovely, on clearance for $6 giant floor mat for by my sliding door. Um, I didn't have any kind of mat to put down and you know, my son was just dragging all sorts of dirt. So was I, it was annoying. And I kept thinking, oh, I'll just stumble across one. And I did in the clearance department. I was so excited. I think that it's supposed to be like a bath mat for by the shower, but I love it. It's soft, but really thick. And it works perfectly because it's not an outdoor scrub your shoes on. This is more for like when we're coming in and out barefoot from the deck and I just want to keep the dirt from coming in. I love it. I also love that it kind of goes with my beachy-esque sort of theme. It's got a little blue in there. It's kind of kind of got natural colors. So I like it. I, I was very excited to get that in the clearance thing. And I'm kind of hoping next time I go back to that store, which I may go back sooner than later, um, that they still have a second one there because I like it so much. I kind of want to buy a second one. And, put it by my, my kitchen sink. Cause right now I have like an Ikea, um, little tiny mat that was $2 that I got there, but it, it slips everywhere. Um, and it's not at all padded. So it'd be nice to have something padded there. Cause I spent a lot of time washing dishes considering it's just the two of us. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> the next thing I bought was this really cool, it's kind of a green, blue aqua, more on the green side. It looks almost like um, sea glass, big jug. And I love this. I'm putting it by the sofa that I shoot by. That's puppy right here. Um, and I'm gonna put some faux fronds in it. I'm not sure if it'll be like a fiddle leaf or a banana leaf, some kind of, you know, silk leaf thing. So it's a little bit more green in here because I don't know, I'm not particularly good at keeping indoor plants alive. Um, and maybe that's me. And also that I live in a cold climate that's not necessarily very sunny. So then on top of that, trying to grow anything inside. So I'm going to get some uh, fronds that go in there and kind of just make it all gardeny. Because I got the kind of gardeny uh, painting print up here above it. And I just like making this my little, my little green, beautiful section to shoot in. But I love that thing. I was just carrying it around the store like, yes, it's mine. No one <laughs> shall get this from me. <laughs> I really liked it. And I thought it was a great deal. It was $12 for a really considerable big... Uh, statement piece and it's low enough to the ground that my son can't knock it over he'd have to like, come up and pick it up and throw it to break it which I really like because a lot of the time when I see these glass ornamental things around the house that I love they so aren't kid friendly because they're very tall and all the kid would have to do is just look at it the wrong way and it'll fall over and break so I really like the, the lower the lower size it's got a big round fat base I feel like there's a song in that mm -hmm. so I love that and the next two things I got or for my um, my third bedroom, which I'm kind of using as a shooting space and then guest bedroom when guests come over and I'll kind of see what I'm gonna turn it into. I mean, I've, I've barely, barely moved in so I haven't quite decided, but the bed really needed a blanket because I didn't have any extra blankets to go on this. So I got a really nice gray striped at the edges blanket. And this bedroom kind of is my, my sea captain's bedroom is what I'm nicknaming it. So it's, you know, kind of like my man cave, right? It's my sea captain's man cave. So it's a little more manly, it's a little more neutral. It's not super pink, which I love super pink, but I thought I need a manly room in my house. <laughs> and I really like it. It's very soft, it's warm. And I loved how just cuddly and cozy it was without being uh, too feminine because almost everything on my house is super feminine. And so it's fun to sometimes have a slightly more Masculine space for my very manly side. I know you're looking at Rose. You're thinking there's a manly manly lady and it's true. It's true. Oh, yeah, I'm both macho And the next thing I bought for this room was just this little 
pretend faux plant. Um, it was a great deal, like seven bucks. And it came in a little pot. It's got little pretend um, like plastic fake rocks on top that are glued into place, which is great because my son immediately in the shopping cart tried to pick out all the rocks. So if the rocks were loose and real rocks, they would just end up in his nose and wandering free. And this is great because I don't have to water, I don't have to worry about it. And it just adds a little bit of life to the room, which would otherwise, you know, I'm not gonna grow a greenhouse in my extra room, right? That's just not practical. So I really like this. And I thought that it kind of went with the overall tone of the room a lot. So I feel like this room actually, the um, my guest bedroom is coming together fastest because it has the most new things in it. Um, so I was just able to like put it together and boom, it was there. Um, so that's, that's nice because it's like a new space. So I don't know what it should be. It just is what it is. <laughs> And then we're gonna move on. We're gonna go through the house. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna go to the living room. Oh yeah. In no way did I need to have extra little succulents in my living room, but I wanted them. And for a couple bucks, I got these fun two matching little, almost terraniums. Um, I guess they're little goblets with a stand. You could put candles in them too. Uh, and I had some faux succulents from a DIY project that I filmed for you all, my lovely biscuits, and I never posted because I didn't think it was very good. I was trying to make a green backdrop to shoot against, and it cost a bazillion dollars to buy all the pieces. I think I went to Joanne's, and that's where I got these succulents. Um, and then just it just didn't come together. It did not. So I never posted it, but I had these. Um, and so I cut them down to size because they come with a big uh, stem if you haven't seen faux succulents before. Um, and put them inside and it just looks so nice. And I think in the winter, when it's really not green and it's just rainy and dreary, it's gonna be nice to have a little green inside. And actually, I kinda wanna add some more faux plants to around the house. They're a little expensive. Um, I haven't been able to really find any good faux plants for under $100, which, you know, if you want a couple fake plants, that adds up quickly. So if you have any good tips for keeping real plants alive in cold, cloudy climates or good fake plants, let me know, shoot me an email. Uh, but I really like these and I just think they're really, they just make me happy. You know those little tidbits around your house that make you joyful? These are those. And above the TV, I got this really lovely boat print and I loved it. It was watery without being overly beachy and it had a pop of color because my living room right now doesn't have a lot of color. You'll notice it doesn't have the sofa yet. The sofa is coming, it's almost here. <laughs> it's just taking a really long time to get delivered. Um, which is great, it's gonna be lovely so if I can't wait to have it, but it's all gonna be kind of lighter colors and more neutral. And so I really like the, the pop of brighter, dark color without it being dreary or kind of clownishy color. I really like this. Um, and it was a great deal, it was $30 at uh, Home Goods. And I think for the size, that's a pretty good deal. And it looks really nice in person, like it has depth. They actually added on some hand embellishments on the screen print uh, canvas. And so I like looking at it. It actually kind of reflects light nicely. I really enjoyed that. I thought it, it had a pizzazz to above the, the TV, which is my little tiny TV from my apartment. And I will say, being in a slightly bigger living room, that TV is really small. When you're sitting looking at it, like, whoa, what's going on on the screen? So eventually, maybe next year, I will have to decide to buy a bigger TV, which I didn't think I was going to do. But sitting there, I think, what is a small TV in this living room? <laughs> gonna do. I can always watch computer laptop shows I suppose but then it's an even smaller screen but it's closer to my face. Okay we're gonna scoot on we're gonna go to the kitchen because I want to talk about the TV and that makes no sense because that has nothing to do with my my home goods fabulous homeware haul. I got two bowls and I got these both in the clearance section. Oh my goodness I got such a good deal. They were five dollars for the place which is crazy, crazy good deal. Oh my goodness. Um, and I just found them underneath all these other plates that were totally different. And these are really cute kind of pottery plates uh, made in Italy. Their tag said, could all be lies, but I'm gonna believe them. And I love it because I love serving pasta or caprese salad on there. Are you okay, Bubba Goon? Hold on, we're gonna take a break for emergency toast stubby. I'm back. He survived. He fell off the 
bench at the dining table where he was eating snacks. And I don't know how he did that, but I think he forgot that there wasn't a back on the bench. And I mean, back for a little Luckily, the wall caught up, but it's dark. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, the living room. Sorry, I know mom brain. Hey, these are honest vlogs. <laughs> you get to see the full mom brain in action. So I really like the, the living room space. I feel like it's coming together. And last but definitely not least is, oh wait, you know what? I forgot to show you. I'm gonna go grab these and film them for you. Uh, we got popsicle set and they're cute little exotic bird popsicles. Abraham loves these. He thinks they're the coolest thing. When I popped out the first one, I tried to pull the popsicle out and the head came off, <clears throat> which did not delight my son very much. <laughs> so you have to like pull and then press the mold out the other way. Um, I've learned through trial and error, just so you don't scar your children. Um, I got these in the clearance bin for $2, $2, which was a stellar deal. Um, and it came with a little pack of three of these. Um, they're really cute and they're big too. You can see that they're, they're hefty. Um, I like them. So I made guava juice and then I blended up some extra overripe watermelon that we had with a teeny bit, like, I don't know, a teaspoon of maple syrup in the blender and then I frozen them. I'm kind of freezing them equimentally because I popped them out, put them in a Ziploc baggie, put them back in the freezer, refill the mold, and then we just have, you know, a month's supply of popsicles. It's worth it. Okay, since I forgot that, now, last but not least, is a tablecloth I got, and I got it not to go on my table, although it might, but to go as a picnic cloth because we picnic outside all the time for lunch. It's one of those things where, you know, we have cuddle and milk time in the morning, we watch a cartoon, and then mommy gets some work done, and then we go and we have a picnic for lunchtime. We, you know, and that can just be out in our backyard. It doesn't have to be anywhere far. Um, so I got this because I just thought it was so colorful and beautiful and joyfully summery, and my son thought, oh, it looks like a rainbow, which is the highest compliment, second highest compliment that he can pay anything. So I really like it. I just, it makes me so happy to see. And that's one of the things I love about homeware and home goodies uh, and especially when you get a good deal on them is that they make you happy every day because it's things that you use in the everyday in your your daily routine and that sometimes we focus on like these really big purchases or we're saving up a whole lot instead of finding something for two dollars on sale that really makes us happy day in and day out right and that it can be small intelligent purchases that don't cost a ton don't take a lot of time or effort to do but that kind of add a little sparkle and joy to our lives and I love that. That makes me so happy. So I hope I hope you love the haul videos. I know that when I do haul videos they're always you know really thumbed up and I get positive emails about it so I know that it's a topic that you lovely biscuits enjoy. So I hope you liked this one. Give it a thumbs up if you do like these hauls and you'd like to see more of them. I will see you all over this channel and my other channel. As always I love it when you click down in the description box and check out all the romance novels I write, which is my other full-time gig. It makes me so happy when I get a message or a DM on Instagram that you read one of my books and, and really loved it. So thank you so much, and I will see you all over. Have a wonderful homeware-filled summer.